More than 1.4 million Iraqis have already fled the violence in their homeland and taken refuge in Syria. Among them are hundreds of thousands of children, children who desperately want to go to school but for many reasons may not be able to. A lot of the children, especially boys and sometimes even girls, had to work. They are now the providers for the, for the uh, families. They had to quit school and go to work. Because of the safety to those interviewed, we've changed the names and masked their faces. The Jassims are living on the edge. This extended family of 13 share this one room. They fled after repeated raids on their homes. Without jobs, their savings are running out. Only the oldest son, Kareem, has a job. At 17, he's now the sole wage earner for the family. Once a top student, he still dreams about finishing high school. If I wanted to go to school, I would still have to support my family and support myself with all the things I need. But I am going to work. I have no other choice. There are thousands of young refugees like Kareem who are helping their families make ends meet. They are sent out to work in the markets, in factories, and in shops. It means that thousands of young Iraqis may grow up uneducated. To give a needed break to those who are obliged to work, the Greek Catholic Church started a summer camp. Youth of all faiths are welcome here. The sisters arrange for the children to take time off their jobs, and this allows them to be kids again. Today, they're celebrating Joseph's birthday. Just 17, he's already survived a lifetime of trauma. During the conflict, his father was murdered and his sister raped. Two years ago, he and his brother were kidnapped from school. He was released, but his brother remains a captive. Joseph says the camp allowed him to forget his pain for a while. Spending the last two days here has been a great boost for us. We were traumatized and very depressed. But at this place we are able to forget about the events we have lived through. Joseph wants to return to school, but has little hope he'll have the chance. It's a dream for me. Everyone needs to go to school. But it's hard for me. I am the sole support for my family, and if I go to school, we couldn't afford to live. But I really wish I could go back. UNHCR hopes to enroll up to 100,000 Iraqi refugees in Syrian schools this year. The Nine Million Project will help support this effort. Remedial classes to help students catch up on missed courses have already started. There are plans to build classrooms, train more teachers, and help some families with tuition. It's a massive effort, but it still may not be enough to get students like Kareem and Joseph back to school.